If you're watching this video, then you have already seen our Kids Don't Float lessons on cold water survival and the importance of wearing a life jacket. Now, we're going to show you how to set up an activity that will help you experience it for yourselves. Here's what you'll need. Ice. The more the better. You'll need a container for the ice. You can use a small bucket or even just a large bowl from your kitchen. Add the ice and cold water to the container. You will also need one of the following. A life jacket, a pair of shoes with laces, or some pennies. Now it's time to experience what Alaska's cold water feels like. But don't worry, you'll just be using your hands. So roll up your sleeves and stick both of your hands into the icy water. You can count to 10, 20, or 30 to make sure you feel the effects of the cold water. Now, if you've decided to use pennies for your activity, drop them into the bottom of the bowl or bucket and try to pick them up one by one. Or instead, you can take your hands out of the water and try putting on a life jacket, but remember to buckle it up. If you don't have a life jacket, you can also try tying your shoes. Remember, to prevent the spread of germs, wash your hands with soap and water after you complete this activity. In the cold water survival lesson, you learned that boating accidents can happen suddenly and unexpectedly. You also learned about the three stages of cold water immersion and how a life jacket could help save your life by keeping your airway clear and keeping your head above water even when your muscles start to get numb. Now that you've felt what the cold water can do to your fingers, can you imagine how hard it might be to swim in? Here are a few discussion questions you can answer with anyone who did this activity with you. What was your initial reaction when you put your hands into the water? Did you gasp or shout? After 10, 20, or 30 seconds, how did your hands feel? Do you think you were experiencing cold incapacitation? If you weren't wearing a life jacket when you fell into cold water, do you think it would be hard to buckle buckles, zip zippers, or pull straps while trying to put the life jacket on? You can send us a photo or video of you doing this activity at home by emailing officeofboatingsafety at alaska.gov or sending it to Alaska Boating Safety Program over Facebook or Instagram. Please remember to always wear a life jacket when you go boating. 